Hey everybody, David here. I pray that you and your family, your friends, your area are well, that you're safe. Um, but something has been bothering me and this is why I'm making this video and I wanna share it with you. And I believe there's others out there that something's been bothering you too, but it's hard to identify. And God laid something on my heart that may be able to help you. All right, so what's been bothering me? Obviously what's happening, you know, with this virus, this demon, but it's how God's people are responding. Okay, now I'm seeing several things. One is I'm getting this flamboyant, oh, you know, it's not a virus, or if it is, it's not gonna hurt me, I'll, you know, it's no big, hey, wait a minute. Even if you don't think it's gonna hurt you, if there's one iota of a chance that it could get on you, you could infect someone else, the elderly, people whose immune system are compromised. Where is that in Christianity? Even if it's a chance, okay? Even if it's a chance. So number one, we must adhere to what is really going on here and understand it. Don't just flip, flip it off like it's, you know, uh, no big deal. Because this is a demon, and this is a big deal, let me tell you. Number two, it's a diversion, all right? I'm seeing a lot of my YouTube friends, people I know I don't know, people that have large platforms still on this train of the deep state of, oh, 5G. Over there. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not negating that. But right now, we have an immediate call to action, and I'm going to explain that in just a second. I'm asking for all you guys out there that have a big platform to please just listen to me for one second. Pass this video around so maybe more people can hear it. God's, it's an urgent call to all God's people, all God's warriors right now to report to duty. And what is that? We have an enemy we need to take out. All right, now you got the doctors and the nurses, the professional staff, the, the first responders, the, the officials, and you see what they're going through. I mean, some of them are dying, they're tired, they're doing the best they can. But listen, the power is in you and I. We are the children of the living God. And greater is he who is in me, God, than he who is in the world. I mean, how many times are we going to say that before we really get it? You say, David, but what can I do? Well, first of all, we are God's children. We have the power to get rid of this demon, to get rid of the virus. What? <laughs> David, you've lost your mind. I have. I lost my mind, and I now I have the mind of Christ. Finally, I want to share something with you. All right. First of all, we must understand that we do have the power, absolute power beyond the shadow of a doubt. It's in Luke 9, 1. Then Jesus called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all the demons and diseases. He said all. He didn't say all of them except, oh, if this you know virus comes along or whatever. No, that's it. No, all the demons. This is a demon. Like I said, we have the power. All right. So first is understanding the power. Second is knowing how to use that power, that authority. All right. Now the power is in the blood. Okay. Here's what I am going to do. And I want to ask you if God lays it on your heart that you'll do it also. Not only will we get on our knees and pray, but we pray God I understand that I am your child. I understand I have the power. Right now, I exercise that power. And Father, I'm asking that demon is obliterated and we stand on the blood of Jesus, all right? If we will just grasp the fact that we're God's first responders and stop looking from a distance at these poor doctors and these nurses and these firefighters and policemen and officials that are, you know, most of them are trying to do their best for what they know. If we'll stop doing that and we will put on our armor, our weapons, get, get into God's military because we are his soldiers. If we'll do that and get into battle, this thing will be gone. And I promise you, this thing could be gone overnight. And I'll tell you why. Because God wants to be glorified. And if he can use us, which he will, if we'll allow it, 
to, to have to utilize that power to obliterate this demon, this virus. Imagine the world, not all, but many will look and go, they'll marvel like they did with Jesus. What manner of power and authority is this? God's just waiting for his soldiers to listen to that urgent call to step into battle and do what a warrior's duty is. You say, David, I know I'm a child of God. Devil can't touch me. I'm, really? Yeah, I'm a child of God, devil can't touch me? You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of, uh, of a soldier, okay, over in Iraq, okay? And he gets out of bed one day and he just decides he's gonna walk in enemy territory putting on his pajamas. Oh yeah, no, no military outfit, no guns, no weapons. He's not even going to tell anybody where he's going. He's just going to walk around town. He says, hey, you know, they can't bother me. I'm a soldier. I'm military. I'll blow them out of the water. And then all of a sudden, boom, somebody takes him down or a bomb blows him up. You go, well, of course. The guy didn't, he didn't use common sense. We know he's in the military, but he didn't put on his, his outfit. He didn't get his weapons. He didn't get equipped. Folks, this is the same thing with God's people. We can't walk around saying, oh, God loves me. I know God. He's going to take care of me. What? No, we got to get out and do something. Okay? It's funny because somebody who's not a Christian said the other day, which kind of made me chuckle a little bit, was uh, uh, this one man, uh, he, he was talking about this one guy who quote, said he was a Christian, was talking to him, this guy who's not a Christian, and this guy who said he was a Christian said, well, you know, I've been praying to God to, you know, eliminate this problem and take care of it. And the guy who's not a Christian looked at the guy who says he was and said, well, let me ask you a question. When's the last time you actually did something or helped somebody, got off your rear end, you know, and, 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 and responded? And the guy said, well, I haven't. He says, then why do you think God, your God, would ever listen to one of your prayers. Folks, we got to just stop sitting around, you know, wimpy, and we got to get out, and we've got to do so. We've got to use the power that's within us. Now, I know many of you are. I'm crying out to those that have been like me in the past, that, you know, you know something's wrong, but boom, it comes on. And we really must use the power and getting back to going after the the uh, you know the 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 deep state and we're getting our rights taken away and cashless society all this is true it is true we are moving to that folks but right now there's an immediate call to action amongst God's people there's people out there sick they're dying and they're scared God's saying if we'll step up to the plate people and if you'll let me use you then I, God, can be glorified, all right? So just remember that we are God's first responders, and this is an urgent call to all God's people to report to duty. God bless you.